All right, guys, you know we all got them. We all got secrets. We do things we do, things we bring, things we don't bring when we go backpacking. In today's video, we're talking about five of my secrets when I go backpacking. Some of these can kind of be, I guess, lighthearted for lack of better terms, but uh, some of these are true things that uh, a lot of people would look at me crazy about. But I know all of us have secrets when we go backpacking. And again, I'm sharing five of mine today. I'm Taylor and welcome to Southern Heights. So guys, you know on YouTube, we all talk about things we do when we go backpacking as far as gear, as far as tips, tricks, as far as mistakes we've made, as far as everything that goes on where we're on the trail. Well, I thought it'd be cool to do a video to talk about some secrets of mine when I go backpacking. And honestly, I've heard other people say that you do some of these same things on the trail, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to share some of mine with you. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. Number one for me is, is I own one, but I don't use one. And that's like, I think it's the deuce of spades. It's like a backpacking shovel. It don't necessarily have to be deuce of spades, but a shovel period. When I go poop on the trail, I typically use my tracking poles if I'm carrying them, or I use the the heel of my boot or shoe and I will dig a hole or I'll find a spot where the dirt is loose enough where I can dig a hole. Yes, it's absolutely important to bury your uh, your poop when you're backpacking, but yes, I don't usually carry one. I have one, I have used it before, but typically it just takes up more room in my pack and I'll just leave it at home. Yes, that is my number one thing that's a secret of mine when I go backpacking. All right, number two. Now, I think a lot of people follow along with this one, but this one's definitely one I usually don't talk about as far as straps with my backpack backpacking quilt. Yes, when you buy a quilt, it comes usually come, you can buy them without them, but normally they come with a strap that goes on your pad to keep your quilt on your pad. You can have a lower one and an upper one, and that way it stays in place. It helps with drafts and make sure that you're not causing drafts when you're using your quilt. Well, I kind of find them aggravating for me. They're supposed to help you for side sleepers and people that turn over a lot. For me, I just get twisted up in them and they get annoying. And then when I need to go use the restroom in the middle of the night, I've got to go climb out of them. So I have found them just a pain for me and I don't use them. Um, I carry them in my bag for the most part and if it's really deep winter backpacking I'm usually gonna be using a sleeping bag so it doesn't even matter anyways for me but I usually do not carry quilts or straps for my quilt. Number three this is one that's not necessarily a secret as much but I feel it's something that I don't say a lot but a lot of the people complain about and this is about quilts again and this is the usually the scent strap that goes around your neck. Um, a lot of people say it bothers them because it gets in their face. I know that user Q has a better solution for that because it's on the back but for me personally, and this is my secret, I just tuck it inside of my quilt. Yeah, it might tickle you on the inside, but I've never really had trouble with that. If on my enlightenment equipment quilts, I just tuck it inside of my quilt, and once I cinch it, and it's easier for me on the inside to cinch it, and it's out of my way, it never crips up, but I don't never leave it on the outside because it would be all over my neck and bother me. So for me, I just tuck it on the inside. So I know that this is a non-essential item. A lot of people don't use them. A lot of people say they take up space, they use more room, but there is a people that do use them, and I and secret in person that do and I have a reason why I use them and I have to and one time recently when I didn't have them it became a mistake and it was actually hidden on the end of one of our videos I'll try to show that video in just a second but I use wet wipes or antibacterial wipes when I go backpacking and the main reason why is is that I wear contacts you've probably seen in some of our videos in the mornings I'll be wearing glasses but earlier in the day, or the day before I wasn't that's because in the mornings I haven't put them back on yet so I wear contacts and to me it's important that I don't put a lot of junk in my eyes and so I use wipes. I always carry wet wipes. They're always in my ditty bag. And if you'll watch this clip right now, and if you notice at the end of this video, I was talking on camera. I don't think anybody caught it. Um, you can see that my eye was a little bit pinkish. I didn't get pink eye, but I definitely got something in my eye. And that was because on that trip, I did not use wet wipes. I forgot them. It was not that I was trying not to use them. But yeah, two days later after that, my eye was almost swollen shut. That was literally right after the trip when you see this video. And then two days later, it was uh, very aggravating to deal with. I did not go to the doctor, but because it started feeling better on the day that I was going to go to the doctor. So I use wet wipes because I make sure that I just don't get junk in my eyes. Last one. Now, this is probably my biggest secret. I don't even tell a lot of people this, but I've heard other backpackers say they do the same. And this is because I'm such a light sleeper. And then I also won't throw some other YouTubers under the bus or other backpackers, but you've got snores, is I wear earplugs when I'm sleeping in my tent. Yes, I know. That's a dangerous way to do things. A lot of people say I'm crazy. You might be writing up in the comments right now, you fool. What if something gets you in the middle of the night and you didn't even hear it? Well, to me, I cannot sleep at all with any 
sounds. And as a lot of you know that backpack, that a squirrel breaking a limb 100 yards, 200 yards away, you can hear from your tent. And those little things just wake me up. It's the most aggravating thing, but it's something I deal with. And if and I'm on a long multi-day trip, I need sleep because I'm putting a lot of miles on trail. So I actually use uh, earplugs when I go packpacking. Now, all that to say is, is hang on before you finish that comment, is, is that if I'm in bear country or there's a definitely a high population of bears, I normally don't, I tough it out, especially if there's water nearby, that kind of helps fade out some of the background noise anyways. But also to say that in a lot of areas we're in, Rachel is with me, as y'all know, we always backpack together for the most part and she does not sleep with earplugs and she has heard things. She's woken me in the middle of the night and said, hey, do you hear that? and just kind of in guard force in the middle of the night. So it works out well. And then sometimes when I've been backpacking by myself, I don't wear them because I do need to listen out for those sounds in the night because you just don't know what you could be getting into. So that is my final secret. I thought that was a funny one because a lot of people don't know that one. But yes, most of the time I'm wearing earplugs in my tent. So if you're gonna sneak up with me, that sneak up on me, that is the best time to do it. So guys, those are some secrets of mine. There's definitely some others out there I'm sure we all have. And I would love to you to leave some in the comments and maybe one of the ones I've mentioned today is something to do the same, so leave that comment. Guys, again, hope you liked this video. Make sure to like it if you did. We appreciate your support. And as always, we thank you for your continued support of our channel. If you're new here, make sure the description bell. We do a video every Thursday. And I'm going to link you a video right here, right now. And go ahead and watch that video next. That is some gear I'm not a fan of. And I would love for you to watch that video and continue to watch our content. And we will see you next week. Thank you.